Okay, hello everybody, welcome to fourth part of the tutorial and in this part we'll be adjusting the code to cope with n number of electrons so we're going to make a new version of the code from this helium ike and label it code 01 and let's get down to business so I wanna first check something so let me just sort of calculate this with different number of breed points here. So 30, 40, 50. And move over them. And store also the total energies here. And we have this infinite loop here, but let's just make several iterations. So let's make like 10 iterations. I'm not sure will it converge by 10, but it might be okay. Okay, and here we collect total energy and end this loop, and now we sort of plot. This is the way, so it's h cubed that is supposed to converge. So, so of course h is inverse to the number of grid points, so this should make a linear plot. Well, can see how this converges and let me just sort of put this running and we can take take a look of this um, n electron problem so let's just define n here and let's just for clarity to check the code make n2 and see what we need to change here so, previously all, everywhere where is 2, depending on charge, I just change n. And we still have only one occupied orbital, so this is correct. So, um, let's just go through the code. Um, we need to calculate, so now Psi is g cubed times uh, n divided by 2 matrix. So, for each occupied orbital, we have a one row vector connected to this psi uh, matrix here. So to calculate all the residuals, we have, can use this trick. You can check it out by uh, writing this open. But if E is a vector of eigenvalues, if you multiply by right with a matrix which has the eigenvalues on its diagonal, we are just calculating all the residuals at once. So this will work then. And let me just ensure here that this S and H matrices are Hermitian and this will guarantee that this Ike will re give the eigenvalues in order. Okay, so I just made an error in the plotting so we can sort of check the convergence of this mm, helium atom here. We haven't checked it yet. And it seems to converge somewhere with weird value actually so I guess ah I'm taking the wrong one so I'm taking the I should be taking the total energy I'm just taking the convergence of the uh, eigenvalue here so let's just rerun it we have plenty of time so um, where were we? So we have updated here, and now we have the eigenvalues here, and they are in order. So we can just give up these these lines of code and just pick the n divided by two lowest eigenvalues and eigenvectors here and this e returned from by ike is sort of diagonal matrix so i just picked diagonal so dike sort of switches between the diagonal representation of matrix and just a vector with diagonal elements okay so now i need to normalize the wave functions so for each wave function i divide it with its norm 
okay and now I need to calculate the density so I just make a for loop here again over all occupied orbitals there is n divided by 2 occupied orbitals and just add the density of that particular orbital and also for kinetic energy I just look for over all orbitals here and calculate the expectation value of that particular orbital okay so I think and this eigenvalue printing doesn't work anymore so let's just replace it with E okay so I think we are now ready for beryllium so let's just um, quickly check what we got from so we are sort of converging and we can sort of have an estimate here so let's just put xlim to something reasonable so xlim 0 to 20 e minus 4 so actually we can see sort of could estimate this should be linear so we could estimate that the value should be something like 2.65 from this but I don't think that we are sort of so close yet to the actual convergence but I don't know um, let's just make the space a bit larger and put this here to four electrons and let's just um, try and now when we have our calculating four electron system we need to specify the initial guess so our e is a vector so we have to have some sort of initial guess for the eigenvalues and some sort of initial guess also for the wave functions so if i recall co correctly it's like 3.7 and something like this these are the wave functions so now this might actually work we might actually calculate the beryllium atom well not yet okay I seem to have missing end here at least okay let's just see we are sort of okay we are not summing the kinetic energy correctly here let's just restart so I have calculated the beryllium atom here, here's the results and we have the kinetic energy plus 14 and we are getting less, like plus 12 so we are far from it uh, 2.1, 2.27 so we are sort of exchange energy is okay and total energy is like 4 hard trees missing so um, this doesn't prove anything it's just I think the code works properly, but I think beryllium is just uh, something that you don't calculate with uh, finite difference code. So in therefore, with the next, um, uh, we are going to use different kinds of methods, so we'll be introducing pseudo potentials. Okay, so till the next time.